Every year, millions of drivers pour billions of dollars into bottles of fuel additives, hoping their engines will run stronger, cleaner, or as smooth as new. But here's the truth no one wants to say out loud. Most of those additives are useless. They don't make your engine stronger. They don't save you a single drop of fuel. And in many cases, they actually make your engine wear out faster. But don't throw them all away just yet. Because among hundreds of bottles on the shelf, only three are truly worth the money proven by science, lab testing, and millions of real-world miles. In today's video, we'll expose the truth behind the fuel additive industry. From misleading advertisements to real lab experiments, and by the end, you'll know the only three types of fuel additives that are truly worth using, helping you cut fuel consumption, protect your engine, and save hundreds of dollars every year. You walk into an auto parts store. In front of you is an entire wall filled with bottles, each covered in flashy labels and promises. Boost engine power. Save up to 15% on gas. Clean your entire fuel system after just one use. The sounds, visuals, and marketing all are designed to target the psychology of car owners, especially those who love their cars and want to take better care of them. But the truth is, no one verifies those claims. Fuel additives aren't regulated by any technical standard, no API, no SAE, no OEM certification. In other words, anyone can mix cheap solvents, pour them into a bottle, label it fuel additive, and sell it on the market. And when consumers hear promises like improves performance, they believe that just pouring it in will make their cars run stronger and more efficiently. But in reality, engines don't need them because modern fuels already contain detergents and protective additives built right into their formulations. Here's where the difference lies. A few products actually contain effective active ingredients used correctly and in the right dosage they can clean and slightly improve performance but the majority are just marketing and psychology making drivers believe that something inside this bottle will make their engines last longer so which ones really work and which ones are simply burning your money every time you refuel in the next section i'll show you the only three types of fuel additives that engineers mechanics and laboratory results all agree actually work type one PEA, detergent, polyetheramine, the real carbon killer. This is the only additive scientifically proven to have a real effect, and it's recognized by major automakers like Toyota, Honda, GM, and Chevron. Its main ingredient is PEA polyetheramine, a chemical compound capable of breaking down carbon deposits, varnish, and soot buildup inside injectors, intake valves, and combustion chambers. When injectors get dirty, Fuel no longer sprays in a fine mist, causing poor combustion, loss of power, reduced fuel economy, and sometimes even a check engine light due to misfires. A small amount of PEA penetrates these carbon layers, breaks down the chemical bonds, and burns them off during normal operation. The result is a smoother running engine, quicker throttle response, and 3-5% better fuel economy. Two reputable brands verified by laboratory testing are Chevron Tecron Concentrate Plus, Royal Purple Max Clean. Both contain high concentrations of PEA, around 30-40% of the solution. Using one bottle every 3,000-5,000 miles is enough to keep your injectors and combustion chamber clean like new. Type 2, Ethanol Stabilizer, the shield against moisture and rust. If you refuel your car in the United States, chances are you're using E10 gasoline, which contains 10% ethanol mixed into the fuel. The problem is that ethanol is highly hygroscopic. It absorbs moisture from the air. When a vehicle sits for a long time, especially during cold or humid seasons, moisture condenses inside the fuel tank, causing what's known as phase separation. Water sinks to the bottom while gasoline floats on top. When that happens, the fuel pump draws in water, leading to corrosion, clogged injectors, and reduced lifespan of the entire fuel system. The solution is to use an ethanol stabilizer, an additive that stabilizes and neutralizes moisture in the fuel. Two of the most highly rated products are Stabil 360 Protection, Seafoam Motor Treatment. They work by encapsulating water molecules, preventing them from settling at the bottom of the tank, while also adding anti-oxidation and anti-rust properties. For vehicles that are driven infrequently, stored for long periods, or for classic cars, generators, boats, and motorcycles. This type of additive acts as silent insurance, 
keeping the fuel stable for up to 12 months without going bad. Type 3. Upper Cylinder Lubricant Lubricant for the top of the combustion chamber Many people don't realize that leaded gasoline from the past had natural lubricating properties. But modern fuel, cleaner and with fewer impurities, leaves the upper cylinder area much drier, especially in older engines. That's where the upper cylinder lubricant becomes vitamins for your engine. Um, it helps reduce friction between valves, pistons, and cylinders, lessens the tapping sound during startup, improves combustion chamber sealing, and assists with smoother cold starts. Two products trusted by longtime users and professional mechanics are Lucas Upper Cylinder Lubricant, Marvel Mystery Oil. But remember, mix it only with fuel, never pour it into engine oil. When used correctly, just a few ounces per full tank, it can extend engine life and keep the fuel system running smoothly. However, if overused, it can increase carbon buildup, so use it moderately and at proper intervals. In summary, among the sea of products out there, only three types of fuel additives are truly worth your money. PEA, cleans injectors and combustion chambers. Ethanol stabilizer, prevents moisture and rust. Upper cylinder lubricant, lubricates and reduces wear. These three aren't miracle potions, but when used correctly, they can help your engine run smoother, cleaner, and last hundreds of thousands of miles longer. Useless and harmful additives, if the three types above are worth your money, then the ones you're about to hear next are nothing but money burners and in some cases, engine destroyers. Remember this, anything that sounds miraculous is usually a lie. Number a hat, oil additives, engine oil additives. Many people believe that pouring in oil thickener or oil stabilizer helps protect the engine better. But in reality, these products alter the base oil formula which has already been precisely engineered at the factory. When you add these types of additives, the balance of zinc, phosphorus, and calcium in the oil is disrupted. The result, the oil becomes too thick, fails to circulate quickly during cold starts, and leads to bearing wear, timing chain damage, VVT malfunctions, and even voided warranties. According to laboratory testing by HPL, Adding just 20% Lucas Oil Stabilizer reduced oil lifespan by 30-40% and significantly decreased oxidation resistance. Number Shatime, Engine Flush, Engine Cleaning Solvent. It sounds great. Flush out all the sludge in minutes. Ugh. But most engine flushes contain extremely strong solvents similar to gasoline or kerosene. These dissolve the protective oil film on the cylinder walls, causing bearings, piston rings, camshafts, and rubber seals to lose lubrication and wear out quickly. Major manufacturers like Toyota, Honda, and Ford do not recommend using these products. If cleaning is needed, simply follow proper oil change intervals or use an OEM-approved flush product under professional supervision. Number 3. Stop Leak Oil Leak Sealant This is one of the most dangerous marketing tricks. They advertise it as restores seals and stops leaks. In reality, Stop Leak products only contain solvents that temporarily swell rubber seals just like stretching an old rubber band. After a few hundred miles, the seals shrink, crack, and leak even worse. Professional mechanics jokingly call it a suicide additive because it hides the problem instead of fixing it. Number Arba, unverified fuel additives. Any product without a clearly disclosed formula or without ASTM or EPA certification can contain corrosive solvents or heavy metals that damage oxygen sensors, catalytic converters, and fuel pumps. Consequences include check engine lights and codes like P420, P171, and P2195 repairs that can cost from $1,000 to $3,000. Remember, today's engine oils and fuels already include all necessary additives from the factory. Pouring in an unknown product is like injecting chemicals into your bloodstream without knowing the dosage. One wrong decision could cost you thousands of dollars to repair, something that didn't need fixing in the first place. Finally, after testing hundreds of additive bottles both in laboratories and in real-world use, the results are crystal clear. 90% of fuel and oil additives on the market are useless or even harmful. Most are just marketing gimmicks, preying on the fear of engine wear and the belief that one more bottle will make the engine run like new. 
If you truly want your engine to run clean, smooth, and long-lasting, remember these three simple principles. 1. Use the right additive for the right purpose. Only use fuel additives that contain PEA, ethanol stabilizer, or upper cylinder lubricant products that have been tested and proven from reputable brands like Chevron, Royal Purple, Lucas, and Seafoam. Never trust cheap bottles labeled oil treatment, engine restore, or stop leak. Those aren't maintenance, they're gambling with your engine. 2. Follow proper maintenance intervals. Change your oil with the correct type, viscosity grade, and at the recommended interval. Regularly clean or replace your air filter, fuel filter, spark plugs, and MAF sensor. An engine that's properly maintained will always run smoothly and rarely ever need extra additives. 3. Become an informed driver. When you understand how your vehicle works, you won't be fooled by marketing claims. You'll know how to tell the difference between genuine products and gimmicks. And that's the first step to protecting your car, your wallet, and your passion for driving.